Good morning, Algebra 2. We're going to look at systems with three variables. Three variables, three equations, ordered triples, x comma y comma z. We're still going to use substitution and elimination, elimination with all three operations. So they're going to give you three equations. We're looking for a variable with a coefficient of 1, negative 1, or an easy common multiple. Uh, we're going to use that equation to eliminate that variable in the other two equations one at a time. You'll see that when we do it. Then you have two equations with two variables. You already know how to do that. All right, so if I look at example one, I'm looking at it, and I can see that plus y, okay? That y is going to let me easily get rid of the y's in the other two equations. So in using it with this one, I have to multiply by 2. Okay, the first one stays the same. 3x minus 2y plus 4z equals 35. This one I multiply everything by 2. Negative 8x plus 2y minus 10z equals negative 72. Okay, now I just add them together and the y's go away. Negative 5x minus 6z equals negative 37. Okay. Now, I'm going to use it with this one, but to get rid of this y, I'm going to have to multiply by 3. Again, this one's going to stay the same. I'm going to multiply this one by 3. It gives me negative 12x plus 3y minus 15z equals negative 108. Okay. So when I go to solve this one, the y's go away, and I've got negative 7x minus 12z equals negative 77. Now, I'm going to use this one it, together with this one, okay, to get rid of, I'm going to get rid of my z because 6 goes into 12. So I'm just going to take this one and multiply by 2. That gives me 10x plus 12z equals... Um, 74. These go away. I've got 3x equals negative 3. x equals negative 1. Okay, so I've got my first part of my solution. I'm going to go back to this equation just because it's got smaller numbers. And I'm going to plug in that negative 1 for x. 5 minus 6z equals negative 37. Subtract 5 from both sides. Negative 6z equals negative 42. Watch your minuses. That minus is stuck to the 6. Okay? And so z is going to equal 7. Then I go back to my... Um, equation that just had a y because I still have to find out what y is. And I'm going to put in negative 1 for x, so that's 4 plus y. I'm going to put 7 in for z, so that's negative 35 equals negative 36. 4 minus 35 is negative 31. Add 31 to both sides and you get that y equals negative 5. So my ordered triple is negative 1, negative 5, and 7. Okay? 
That's a lot to take in. Okay, let's look at Guided Practice 1A. Again, I'm looking for that one variable that's got a coefficient of one or negative one. So I'm gonna use this to get rid of all my Z's, okay? So in the first one, I've got to multiply by negative five. So that first one's gonna stay the same. When I multiply this one by negative five, I get 25x plus, oh, minus actually. And that's important, you gotta watch the signs. Minus 15y plus 5z equals 85. Okay. When I add those together, my z's go away. 27x minus 11y equals 103. Okay, to get rid of this one, I've got to multiply by two, okay? So that first equation is gonna stay the same. Negative three X plus five Y plus two Z equals negative 27. Um, negative 10 x plus 6y minus 2z equals negative 17. Okay, the z's go away. Uh, what does that give me? Negative 60. Oops, I forgot to multiply that one. That gives me negative 34, which is gonna give me negative 61. Okay, now, couldn't ask for a more perfect equation. Those y's are gonna go away when we add them together. So I'm gonna move this one up here. Negative 13x plus 11y equals negative 61. The y's go away. 27 minus 13 is 14x equals 42, so x equals three. Okay, I got my first variable, yay! Now, I like this, I can do this one easy in my head. Negative 13 times three is negative 39, plus 11y equals negative 61. So 11y, when I add 39, I'm gonna get negative 22. So y equals negative two. Okay, got two variables, X and Y, gotta find Z. See, that's why I left the space here so I could go back and plug in. That gives me negative 15 plus negative six minus C equals negative 17. So that gives me negative 21. So the opposite of Z equals four. So Z equals negative four. So my ordered triple is three, negative two, negative four. Okay? Now see I left space in case I need to go back and do that guided practice 1B. But I don't want to make it to be too long. So I want to look at this Example two, where they talk about no solutions and infinite solutions. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I look at two of these equations, I don't like them. They're not in simplest form. This one, everything's divisible by two. This one, everything's divisible by three. And if I do that, look what I get. I get negative two X minus five Y minus four C, and I could have divided by negative, it doesn't matter, equals negative eight. Divide this one by three, and I get two X 
plus 5y plus 4z equals 8. Oh, huh. If I add those together, those cancel out, those cancel out, those cancel out, those cancel out, I get 0 equals 0. You know what that means, don't you? They're different names for the same plane. Different names for the same plane. All I have to do is find, look at this one. What's the comparison to this one? Is Now this one's not gonna be on the same plane because I can't divide anything out. So I've gotta find that common multiple, okay? Now I can use my easier equation and say, well, I'm gonna multiply this one by five and this one by two. Okay, so that's gonna give me 10x plus eight y minus 10 c equals negative 20. And this one gives me negative 10 x minus 25 y minus 20 z equals negative 40. The x's go away and I've got negative 17 y minus 30 z equals negative 60. Now the significance of this is that this is a line because it's got two variables. It even looks kind of like standard form. So that means infinite solutions. Now, if I would have gotten something here that was not true, like zero equals five, or zero equals 13, or 27, or some weird number, okay? Then I would know that those planes are parallel and there would be no solution, I'd be done. Okay, so those are things to keep in mind. Look for ones that you can divide out a common factor because those might be lines names for the same plane. Okay, all right, hope that helps. Have a good day, bye.